We met up with Bridget Penny, student at the university currently known as Rhodes, to give us her experience of the Fees Must Fall protest, a moment which not only changed her thinking, but also led to her taking action. Being from a white middle class family has put me in quite a difficult position to create a definition of my own about what white privilege is. It's something that I really have had to learn in the last couple of months since the term white privilege came to the forefront of the current discussion. Understanding often stems from perception, and for Bridget, that came from being open to diversity. I do have a very diverse friend group, and it's one of the things that I really appreciate about Rhodes, one of the opportunities that it's presented to me, to have friends of all races and creeds and colours and religions coming together and with absolutely no issues. Wouldn't have happened at my high school. It didn't happen at my high school. For Bridget, it was initially difficult to understand where the movement was leading to. When everything started, I was, I was trying to grapple with what everyone was really fighting for and what this was going towards. I live only a block away from campus. I can hear what's going on if, if you know, there's loud happenings around the town. And I could hear the protests. I could hear them and I, it drew me outside and I went to have a look and for a long time I stood on the other side of the pavement looking over at the barricade wondering what was going on until I realised that why am I standing here watching all the other students at my university protest for something that actually could mean something. So I made my way across the road and I stood in front of the drama department and I spoke to people and I figured out that this was actually something that I wanted to be involved in. The Rhodes University Theatre became the landmark that served as a meeting point during the Fees Must Fall protest. I think the way that this whole situation impacted me the most was what I took away from it, more than what my participation was. When I went home over the holidays and chatted to family members and people around South Africa, I did quite a lot of travelling and everyone that I came across had something to say about the issues and say, why was it happening? Oh, I can't believe this is going on. What are they really fighting for? And that was where I could answer. I could say something. I could argue with them. And most of the time, I came out on top. The turning point for Bridget was realising that the protest was bigger than her. I think the reason it was so important was less because of my financial needs and more because of solidarity with the students. It's way more important to get involved with something because it's going to impact more people than just yourself. The reality is that many still don't take part in the protests. I think that not everyone participated because it doesn't feel like everyone's struggle yet. But in my opinion, this is the first of many struggles we are going to be participating in. It's the first of many struggles for our generation. And as this movement grows and grows and grows, it will, it will call the participation of everybody.